Good morning. Hi everybody, I'm Hilary Don Herrera. I'm here doing Beauty Biz with Hill to help you build a clientele in the beauty business. So um, I'm still debating the title on this of like why friends and family are the worst clients. <laughs> but it's truly the what I want to, why they're the worst thing for you to rely on to build a clientele as clients. So um, friends and family as your clients can be amazing, but you have to have like really hardcore boundaries. So let's talk about boundaries. This is your job. You've paid for education, hopefully. You have worked and put in hours to perfect it. You're creating and producing a beautiful product. You have clients asking to be in, or you're starting to build a clientele. Why going to friends and family isn't always the best. One, sometimes they think they're doing you a service, right? So then they don't expect to pay. And that's a little tricky because this is your job and hopefully one day career. There's a difference, by the way, because you start, there's a, there's a point where you shift from like my job, like tick for tat, you, you start shifting to like full blown career and I want to get all of your mentality there. So I don't want to overwhelm you with everything, but let's, let's talk about this. So if you go to Aunt Susie and say, oh my gosh, I'm doing nails now, I'm doing hair, I'm doing lashes, whatever, I'd love you to come in. She's like thinking she's probably not going to pay. It's the truth. Or a major discount. So instead, use your free marketing like Instagram and Facebook. Let one of your other family members tell them, I went to Susie. Wait, is she Aunt Susie or are you Susie? I got my story wrong. <laughs> but I went to so-and-so. And she did really awesome nails and really awesome hair. And I was like super impressed. And my client experience was super professional. And like it didn't just feel like I'm a family member so she doesn't care. Because that's on you. So here we go. That's a better way to get clients and family. And then when they do come in, you have to have a set decision on if you offer a discount to friends and family. If you don't. I mean, if you have a lot of friends and family, you could work for free the rest of your life. I think it's a good rule of thumb, like maybe your mom, maybe your sister, but if you have 12 sisters, this won't work. Um, maybe your one brother, if you like, you know what I mean? Those people you can choose to charge or not or whatever. Other than that, maybe you set like a, I do a $5 discount for friends and family. And I know that's not much and that's intentional. That's intentional because you could spend your whole, they could end up being your full clientele and it's killer good, but they should want to pay you. So the goal here is to create such a good client experience for those who do come to support you that they tell the others and they want to become one of your clients. You're not asking them to be a client. Anybody you ask to come in, like friends and family, are not going to expect to pay. And again, this is your job hopefully career, and you need to make money. So let's talk about that experience just a little bit. Um, you need to be on time. You need to be there when you said you would be there. You need to not shift their appointment around. There's nothing that drives me more crazy when I set an appointment. Now, if you get sick or something happens, that's totally fine. But if I can tell I'm not a priority, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere where I am. This is the honest truth. You need to bring value to your clients knowing that they, I make eating my hair. This is what this struggle is right now. Sorry. You need to bring that value there where they know if you're going to charge them, they're going to get the same beautiful, wonderful, relaxing, high quality experience as a full paying client, which is why most of them should probably just be full paying. I'm being so, so honest here. And this boundary is so important. Besides maybe your mom or someone, everybody else pays me, okay? And it's okay. Because if you build a full clientele on discounted friends and family, that's not a full clientele. That's not reliable. They are not understanding your value if you don't communicate that they need to pay for things. So that's why I say friends and family are the worst. They actually can be a beautiful thing with the right boundaries. And it is your fault if you haven't established those boundaries. So just lean back on it. Even if you're doing it in your home, I did it in my home. And you're like, I don't have a salon to fall on or anything. You say, my policy is to not give discounts to friends and family because I, and then that's it. End conversation. That's good enough. 
But in your head, you're like, because I'm going to give them the same exact experience and quality, I would a full paying client. So therefore they're a full paying client. I hope that makes sense today. I'm not saying don't do friends and family. They can actually be your sugar mamas. They can out there be saying, this is person so great. This person's so great. This person's so great. And that's totally fine. But just tread carefully and make sure that you bring the value that you're not giving them a discounted service in the sense that you have your kid with you and you're yelling at them and doing this and that, and you're not giving them the professional experience. If you're doing that, then that's not fair, right? But if they come in, you give them all the same experience and quality that you would give somebody who booked from running into you into the mall and seeing your lashes or your hair, or your nails, um, you then you know that you can charge them and you will charge them. So that's my advice. I would not do more than like a $5 discount aside from maybe one or two people that you do. Like I'm gonna do my mom for free, okay? I'm gonna do my sister for free, I love that. But other than that, consider your boundaries and consider not tracking down your client, like your family to be your clients. It, they kind of get turned off by it versus if you just start building these other organic ways that I've taught you, they'll come around and there may be a point where they come around like, I'd love you to do it for me. And you're like, shoot, my clientele's full. I would have loved to too. I'll contact you if somebody um, moves or something. That's very, very cool. Friends and family can be very, very supportive, but true support comes from somebody who's willing to pay you. And I hope you understand that and you value yourself today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for hanging out with me on Beauty Biz with Hill. Share this. Please subscribe. It means a ton to me. Um, I enjoy sharing this value, uh, valuable information. I know it's very valuable. And I feel like if you can take and implement these things we talk about on this series, you will grow your business hand over fist. Okay. Have a great day.